Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about the long difference in between videos, however you say it. Um, a lot of medical things happened over the last last time I recorded, and then I got busy with school, and now I have an opportunity to film again, so here we go. Today I'm doing a products I've used up slash empties video. I have been really obsessed with watching these these past couple of months, so I thought I could do my own. Well, actually not a couple of months, in the past year, probably. So, I have been saving since May of last year, I know that is a long time, but when I got so sick with medical, it was just easier to keep everything. So yeah, I'm going to get started. I'm going to start off with two wallflowers I used up, one in Caribbean Escape, one in Mahogany Teakwood. I still have three of the Mahogany Teakwood. The Caribbean Escape was really good. My mom liked it more than me, though, because... I'm not super big into coconut, but I did like it, so it that one's amazing. And sorry if it's loud, I have a bag here to put everything back in. And then I used up two, what was two, three, two Bath and Body Works shower gels, one in Paris and more, one in the middle of the Love these. The Paris and more I probably would not repurchase because unless it was in a mini one like this, because this one was a lot to get through. Now the vanilla. The, the vanilla bean Noel, <laughs> sorry, I would get in a bigger one because I do love this stuff. Used up two of the big fragrance mists, one in vanilla bean Noel from the year before last, one in Moonlight Path. Absolutely love these. Would continue to get these. The Moonlight Path, I don't know if they still have or not, but I would get it again if I saw it. I have another big one, but this is old packaging from a couple of years ago. This is the Japanese cherry blossom. This one, a lot of people say, oh yeah, it smells like, it smells floral. To me, it smells like a really good smelling soap. No idea why. But I do love it, and I would get it again if I saw it. Three minis. One just fell. Hang on. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I won't pick it up. It was a... Japanese cherry blossom mini. And then I have a pair of some more and vanilla bean oil. These, I don't know if I'd get the minis again because I don't know. I feel like the scents are more concentrated and then they get overpowering and then I kind of get a headache. But I like the bigger ones. I have a shampoo and conditioner here. They're not a set, but whatever. I have the Nourish and Moisture Shampoo by Aveeno, which I've gone through three of. Love this particular one, but don't know if I'd get it again though, because I like shampoo. some shampoos better. Then I have the Nourish and Volumize Conditioner from Aveeno. Love the conditioners from Aveeno, they're really thick and kind of like a deep conditioner, but the shampoo, I don't know if I'd get it again. This one's kind of random, but I have a Dawn Platinum Bleach Alternative Soap. Dish soap. I did like this, but I think my mom liked it better than me. So, right now we're using the Dawn. Is it Dawn? Or. The one that has the Olay for your hands in it. Two more shower gels. I have the Immortal Twilight. This came with my perfume. Love the smell of this. Wish I could get this again, but I know I'd have to buy another perfume, and I still have about half of the perfume left. So I don't necessarily need another one. But I did like this. Then I have a no name brand. It's some vanilla sugar, some moisturizing shower gel. This is like pure vanilla. So if you love vanilla, you'd love this. And I did like it, but I don't know if I could find it again anywhere. And two vanilla bean oil lotions, one from the year before, one from last year. Love this. As you can see, I cut it to get everything out. It's just easier for for me to cut it to get every single last drop of it out. I do love these and I would get it again when it comes back out. have a gentle foaming hand soap and a 
keep cleansing him. So one in Tangerine, one in Caribbean Escape. Love these. Would continue to get the soaks, but I'm probably more inclined to get the gentle foaming. Because you get really every last drop of the bottle. So cleansing wins this for it's a little harder. So. This was sort of random, but I used up a Thermacare heat wrap for your back and hip. Because of the medical, I went through a whole bunch of these, so yeah, but they were good. A little bit pricey though. Have the clear scalp and hair therapy conditioner and the Dove hair therapy volume boost shampoo. I'll definitely get the shampoo again. The conditioner, I, I don't know. It's a little hard to get out of the bottle because of the shape to it, but I mean, it wasn't a bad conditioner. I just like other ones way better. So, that's probably a no. I have a chocolate cupcake shimmer lotion here from a no name brand. I had gotten this with a pair of fuzzy socks. Don't know why that happened in the packaging, but it just. But it did smell like chocolate. But I don't know if I'd get this on its own because there's actually like, when you rub it into your skin, there's these like little pieces. I don't know if it's like plastic. That happens, and it and it just feels weird, like, and it's not beads either. So I looked at it; it's not beads. So that one's probably enough. I have some vitamins I used up for the other ones. Here they are. I have a Caltrate calcium and vitamin D3 supplement, 60 tablet. I go through calcium a lot because of the birth control I take. It, it's a chance that I can have you know, calcium deficiency, so I take this kind of to, as a preventative, but it wasn't bad. Then I take some high potency magnesium 500 milligram tablets. This is only once a day, so this lasted me a long time. And I take that with the calcium to help the calcium absorb better. Speaking of calcium, I have a Nature Made 500 milligram calcium. This was one tablet as well, so this one lasted me forever. Probably would get this one again. Because I hate taking pills, even with all the medical that I had to take pills for. It's just harder to take as many, you know? I have a fish oil pearls 500 milligram and a regular fish oil, but these are many. I take fish oil because I have a slightly higher cholesterol than the average person, probably with my eat very healthy, but whatever. But I would get these again. I have an ointment here that I got from my mom, who's a nurse, who thought that this could help with my sporadic breakouts and redness in my face. And I do have another one that I am almost out of. I'm about like right here on it. So, do like it. We'll continue to use it. Sorry for the noise. <laughs> bunch of stuff everywhere. Um, I used up a bunch of candles, but I depotted them all, so they're on stickers like this, like little paper stickers. First one is Vanilla Bean Noel from you know, from the year before. Then on the back, I have Merry Cookie and Vanilla Bean Noel from last year. Yes, I double sided it. Hopefully that that doesn't bug anybody. I have a Moonlight Path that I finished, then a Cinnamon Frosting that I finished. The Cinnamon Frosting I burned in like four days and I looked at a candle. I have a homemade cookies. Technically my mom finished this one because during the ice storm here she used this candle to light her room and it finished. So technically she used that one. Mahogany Teakwood, I love this candle so much. So, and in my bath and right now, even though it's spring, they still have it, so I'm not grabbing one. This one is not Bath and Body Works. This is a Brookside candle and birthday cake. Absolutely loved it, and it lasted a long time because it was a very big candle. It was like a like big candle, so loved that. And I used up a lavender vanilla from White Barn from Bath and Body Works. Most of these are Bath and Body Works. The only one that wasn't was this one so far. Would definitely get these again. I have a Bath and Butterworks Caribbean Escape cocktails and coconuts. 
think my mom liked this one more than me, but I do like it. Then I have a Country Air Aromatherapy candle that I had gotten for $3, and it was in Tangerine and Vanilla. It doesn't say the thing here, because I tried to get the sticker, but only part of it came off. But the part that came off had the name. So, it works for this. I have a little mini mahogany teak wood, and this is what made me get it in full size. Love this candle. More lotion I used up was the Sleep Aromatherapy from Bath and Body Works. Loved this, but definitely get it again. But it's like so much more expensive than the other one. Other lotions that are there. So, I don't know. It's amazing. <coughs> this one you can't even see the name. This one was Into the Wild. And yes, I cut this one too. From Bath and Body Works. And this is an old scent. Like, it has been discontinued for I don't know how long. But I did love this. It's a little strong once it's sucking on my skin, but if you saw, I think it was about what's in my first video I mentioned this. And I talked a little bit more about it, but I do like this. This one's kind of random. I used up a candle lighter because of all of the stickers. I've been using candles a lot, so. But I do really like this specific one. Another lotion I used up was a Johnson's Baby Lotion. We just had this one around the house and I had run out of all my other lotions. So I used this one and I did like it. A scrub that I used up was the Aqua Kiss Rain Kiss Freesia and Daisy scrub from Victoria's Secret. Absolutely loved this and would definitely purchase this again. This is a really good scrub if you do um, self tanning. This is a really good one for that. Used up a Pure Seduction body wash. Loved this, but the scent's a little strong, so I might get it in a different scent. Speaking of Victoria's Secret, I used up a Beauty Rush perfume. They do not sell these anymore. This was in Secret Crush Watery Fruit and Fresh Lily. Loved this one in particular because I had gotten four for twenty-five when they were running out when they were trying to sell them. This was my favorite out of the four. Obviously, because I used it up. I have some empty wallflowers here. More. Two of the homemade cookies, limited edition ones. Absolutely loved these, would definitely get them again. Two of the frosted cupcakes. One is in a plug right now that's only that I had just refilled, so that's why there's not a second one in here. Love this. And two of the gelato. Wallflowers. This one was on sale when they did the semi-annual sale last year. Absolutely loved this. Now for body butter. Two of the Pure Seduction Victoria's Secret ones. Love these. I might get this one again, but I like trying all the different ones. But this was a good one. I do like this one. Two of the Love Spell. This one's a little strong for me, so I might not get this one again. I do have one right now that I'm currently using, but after that one, I don't think I would get it again. I don't know if I see anybody that does like Love Spell, it's a little strong for me. Two of the Aqua Kiss. I use this in conjunction with the scrub. Love this scent, but definitely repurchase it. Look how clean and fresh it was. Sorry, my bag's falling here. Ugh. Okay. One in Mango Temptation and one in Secret Charm. Secret Charm was Honeysuckle and Jasmine. Mango Temptation was Mango Nectar and Hibiscus. Loved the Secret Charm. The Mango Temptation was. Mm, I'm not really that big a fan of Mango, but I did like it. This one I, would, I love. I would definitely get Secret Charm again. This one I had gotten on sale at Victoria's Secret. It was Seriously Soft Body Cream and Lavender and Vanilla. Love this one. I wish they still had this. This was on sale for like $5 in a bin when I had gotten, I think, the Mango Temptation that round. I had gotten this. So I would definitely get this if I could find it again. I used up two deodorants. One is the 
Lady Speed Stick 24-7 Powder Burst. This was my go-to, but now I found better ones. But I did I do like, like this one a lot. Have a Dove Clear Tone Skin Renew 48 Hour. I will probably get the gel version of this one next time though, just because this one. If you have any hair under your underarms, it clings to it, so I wasn't a big fan of that. I did try to shave to keep manage of it, but once it starts growing in, it clings, so probably not. I used up a Menagerie Nicki Minaj fragrance sample. I did really like this. I don't know if I would actually purchase this one, though. It kind of gave me a headache after wearing it all day, so I don't know. Maybe. I'm sensitive to smell sometimes. I have a Coco Noir fragrance sample. I got this for Christmas year before last, 2012. Did love this one a lot. Would definitely purchase it, but the full size is like $125, so I don't know. That one might have to be like a Christmas gift or something. I used up an Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion Sample. Love this. Would definitely get it. Used up a lot of chapstick. Jeez. Have a soft lip pearl, which is like the shimmer one. I did like this. Loved how moisturizing it was, so I would get this again if I can find it. I'm having a hard time trying to find that lately. I used up two of the Baby Lips and Quenched. One didn't have a sticker, I don't know why. Loved these, would definitely get them again. I have a Baby Lips Doctor Rescue in Pink Me Up. Fun name. Would definitely get this one again too. Loved it. I have two of the EOS lip balms. One dried out on me, one I got to the rim. I think this is the one that dried out. No, this is the one I had gotten to the rim. But I kept scratching my lips when I hit it, so I stopped after that. And then the other one dried out on me. I tried a Fit Me by Maybelline sample. This is the lighter shade. It's too yellow for me, so I will not get this. Then I used up an SPF 40 UVA, UVB, very water resistant sunscreen. I had gotten this after I had my transplant almost eight years ago, almost eight years ago now, and I did like this. I have another one, so I will use it. Okay, last but not least, sanitizers. I have a ton of these because, you know, I've got a transplant, so I have to be more careful. I have one in Lemon Meringue Cheer. Like this one a lot. I have one in Vanilla Bean Noel. <laughs> Shocker. Love this. I'm using another one right now. I have two in Caribbean Escape. Where's the other one? Here it is. I have two in Caribbean Escape. Did like these. One was in our kitchen, one was in my room. So we used to I used them both. One in Sweet Clementine, one in Fresh Picked Tangerine. Make sure you still see them. Did like these. Probably would get a different scent next time. Mill Snowflake, which kind of reminds me of the next one, Japanese Cherry Blossom. I don't know why they smell similar to me. I know to some people they probably don't. But I did like both of these. The last and final empty is this Zodiac Cancer Sanitizer that came out in Bath and Body Works forever ago. Like year and a half, two years ago. Alright guys, well that's all my empties. Hopefully you liked this video. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you like my videos and I will see you guys later. Bye.